back for round two. Fight. All right, now we're back to the second part. Now, by default, all of your layers are actually mapped onto the center of the screen. So the thing is, you kind of have to use the animate tool to move the different parts to, you know, different pivots. Right? So if you know your ears are going to move a certain way, you have to pivot it a certain way. Right? So let's start with, for example, the head. So we have... Neck. Yeah, there's no neck. So I see head here. I'll just move this. Right. So two things. When you're moving the pivot point, you have to look at what you're moving first. So this tells you which one of them you're troubling and what you're going to be moving. We want to move the center point. Not the actual position, nor the rotation. We don't want to scale it. We don't want to share it. We don't want to all it. We want to center. So with that now, you can actually take this and move this pivot point of the head to here. Cool. Next one. Let's go take ear number one. Which one is ear number one anyway? Ear, 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 ear one. Right. Right. One of them is the ears. Which one is the ear? Let's just hide and see. All right, cool. So that's that. We're moving the center. Grab that. Move this about like so. Right, and ear two. Same thing. Move that boat there. Tail. Move that tail down here. Hand one. And hand one is this. Hmm. Of the actual object, that's going to cause problems. U90. Right, leg one. Which one's leg one? This left one. <laughs> leg one. What's leg two? Leg two? Bam. Yeah, because I see over here, right here, tells me what which one I'm Mm. Let's proceed, shall we? So you know what leg one looks like, leg two looks like this. Right? Even the feet are like this. The reason why I haven't troubled the feet because I plan to do something with the feet. I want to kind of mesh them, in a sense. So that they bend. Remember, I don't have knees per se. I, don't, I didn't split my leg into, you know, knees and joints and all. So it's just like one leg. So I'm going to use like either the bone tool, the skeleton tool, or the that that mesh thing yeah and the shirt where do we position this shirt thing about here hmm? yeah. which I did bam mm -hmm. I number two, Sclera one, bam. Eyebrow one, which one is it? Just to make sure. Whammy. Tada. See, that's eyebrow two, sorry. Eyebrow one is this one. So eyebrow one, move that there. And if I wanted to pivot it with my eye, I move it here. You know, like if you want the eyebrow to rotate kind of like so, then you could do that. But let's just leave it here for yeah, the Yeah. <laughs> it is perfectly round. <laughs> if you pivot it properly, then yeah. And you can even literally put in your um, exact figures if you wanted to. Mouth. Well, I'll just put this somewhere around here. And hand number two, which may cause me problems because, hey, the body is kind of obstructing it. So I just hide the body. 
can probably hide some legs and be like, okay, hand number two goes over in your soul. Oh my gosh. Oops. That's a hand, right? We can do this. My bad. This goes here. Hand to arm. Arm one. Arm one looks like this. Yeah, it, it's this one. All right, cool. So I have arm one, hand. So how hand two look like this? See, I renamed it wrong. See my problems now. Mm, I should call this. So, so I should call this one. It should be called arm two. Basically, when you change it over here, it actually changes over here too. So it's arm one now. Okay. Yep, it was arm twenty one. It has changed a while ago. So arm two. Yeah, they both connected. So it's just getting the name from the same thing. So here's what we want to do. We want to test it. Calm yourselves down. You're still on camera. Arm one, this one. Just fixing that up. Cool. Just let's just make sure everything's working. Ears are there. Ear twos there. Oh, that's fine. Tail. Hand one. Hand. All right, hold on. Arm. This is what? What is this? This is hand one over here. All right, same thing. Problems again. Arm one is this one. Hand one for arm one. Leg one for. Leg one, carry this up a little bit more. Leg two, carry this up a little bit more. Right, shirt, shirt is right there, head is right there, eyes right there, eye two is right there, sclera one and two. So like I said, I want to rename sclera because that really is supposed to be iris one. And iris two, eyebrow one, eyebrow two, mouth, hands, arms, and everything, ladies and germs, is finito. So here's the shirt. What if we move the position of said shirt? Right, remember, everything is connected, right? So if I move the position of the shirt, because everything's connected to the shirt, ultimately, everything moves, right? Same with the head, if I move the head by itself, everything connected to the head is going to move. And if you choose to change the rotation, you can use the, the rotation just to test it, you know. And let's test the tail. Right, tail. <laughs> and you could actually, um, for example, for the tail, uh, if we make the tail something more like a mesh, you could actually get the follow through and stuff in there. If we leave it like this, it looks kind of stiff. You have to deal with that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, this will be the first part. So, after you finish your character and you rig it like this, there are some other things to do. Because we kind of want our character to have a, a speech or a talk. So if we look at this, for example, for the eyes, because it's the same, this is um, the same scene. This is scene one. Well, no, this is, sorry, this is before I started rigging. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is, because I did some more afterwards where I actually drew some face, well, the eyes different, and the eyebrows different. Um, let me show you what happens. It saved all the drawings for those for me. So if I look at ear, well not ear one, look up I one. If I one, I have this drawing. <laughs> have a meeting at six o'clock. Some business. 
Anyway, let's continue. Because all is going on YouTube anyway. <laughs> Ready? So, because I have this, the cool thing about it is that if you create a drawing, so for example, this is currently drawing number one for the eye. That's this white part here. You also have drawing number two, which looks like this. Right? So if I look at this, you're too weak for this Call it floor. 